Well, he was, he was coming down on this one guy for... Uh, <laughs> he looks like an old Asian woman. <laughs> Doesn't he look like an old, like old Asian woman there? I don't know. He looks ridiculous in all of them, but he's coming yeah. down on this one guy for his relationship troubles. Really? Yes. He does pretty lengthy ones. This one's four minutes long. No, they're very long. It's Corey Feldman here. I'm coming to you live and direct from my studio here in Los Angeles. Oh. He just barely shows off his studio, which doesn't look like much of a studio. <laughs> looks like right, his house. So Stan, listen, looks like a basement, deal. doesn't it? Yes, it does. I've it's heard got that you a big fan, which is very, very cool, very impressive. Love the fact that you're a big fan. Of your Thanks movies. for watching me through Not your years. music. Hopefully you've been buying my new music as well. <laughs> oh, great stuff out he there. He plugs his box set single, on a cameo. Feeling funky. Oh, wow. I'm not kidding. it on Spotify. It's going through the charts right now. Excellent stuff. Excellent. Why is he telling this guy this? But another thing about you that's really cool is that you're a good dude. You're a Black Lives Matters activist, okay? You go out there and you 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 raise your fist for the cause. You get out there and you, you hit the streets. You do the right things. You make people know that we've got to end the racism. we got to blur the lines. We've got to have equal treatment for everybody on this planet. You know what I like, That's too? You can about. see him. That's you can see the phone stuff, in his man. sunglasses I'm as he's right reading here. all the I information. I think it's great. See we it? all got to stand yeah. up for each other, you know? Enough of this uh, crazy dictatorships and repression what? and stealing our voices and all of it, man. Every, he's just saying words, Brandon. Don't don't who's world. stealing so our voice? Uh, he's just saying words, Drew. He doesn't even know. Go Black Lives Matter. Now, it's funny go, how people just know, know, more things about people just know what to words to say. And that's the fact that you are the man. You are Stan the man for a reason because Stan, look at everybody loves to have a few girls, you know, once in a while. Oh, here <laughs> you know, we go. I'm sure guilty of having several girlfriends at one time. <laughs> oh. In fact, I've had at least 10 girlfriends oh, at one what? time. Bragging. Uh, that's pretty the relatable. The difference between <laughs> you and me, Stan, is that I'm honest with all of them you ah. see when i was dating multiple women i would tell them about each other in fact i would introduce them to each other and that makes it a That's, lot more fun that because it's pretty well for most people actually, like, sure. you know, engage with <laughs> yeah. all of them yeah, at the same time sure you know what you're doing but oh you know my what the god biggest dingleberry move in the world is getting married and surreal to, to have two women at the same time and not be honest and not tell them about <laughs> total each other. dingleberry move. Ooh, that's just a bad, bad recipe for disaster, man. You know, that's gonna leave you feeling like a lost boy. Oh, you know what I mean? Especially when they get out of each other, and then they both leave you. Ooh, ouch, dude, ouch. Listen. So the bottom line is. You screwed up. Just you screwed take up relationship bad, advice from You screwed up bad, and I don't know if you're ever going to recover from this one. Look at that tendril, I'm though. I'm sorry that you're in pain. I know. <laughs> Worked himself I, I into a tendril. Pain, but at the same time, I can't feel that bad for you. I can't call you a wambulance because you know what, man? You did it to yourself. What? You did it to yourself. You didn't keep the word, man. Why are you, you paying to get yelled word. at by Feldman? The word is somebody else paid for it. Two hundred and fifty bucks. Do. You know, you can never be called a bad guy for having two girls, three girls, five girls at the same time, as long as they're willing candidates, they're above age, and you're honest with them so they know about each other. That it's is very the common key to have five girlfriends. Success. <laughs> okay, not that I know what I'm talking about. I only ran crazy Yeah, girls. no. What do I know about having a lot you know, of girls Like he's around? the big winner Nothing. with relationships. <laughs> Okay, that's all I have to say about that. So, the reason why, I'm sure you're wondering, like, why is Corey Feldman giving me a load of crap? How did this happen? I'll tell you why. Because why your dear friend, Greg Demris. Greg Demris. Demris. He's Demris, him. whatever. He's got a weird <laughs> last name. But he put you up to this, put me up to this, <laughs> to do this for you. So, yes, it's his fault. You can blame him. Don't blame me. It's a written script, man. It's a written script. And I'll read anything for 250 remember, bucks. No matter how depressed you might be right now, it will get better. Because why? Because you're going to pull out of this dude. You're going to do the right thing. Oh and from God, now on, you when you want to roll in the hay with more than one horse, well... You're gonna you know, make the guy's sure not listening the anymore. Are in the no, he, we'll we, another one. We've watched this cameo way longer, longer than he did. <laughs> My studio here. <laughs> <in> <laughs> studio. <laughs> this is where all the magic happens. None of it's connected, <laughs> by the way. It's all turned off. Oh, he's got a tendril. Magic. 
And some of the movie magic, as we tend to do editing and post no, sound don't. mixing here. No, you don't. At the <laughs> You've never done studios. it. <laughs> and um, we do that for a lot of my recent films. He's moving his tendrils. Sorry, yeah. got a little Oops. wild hair there yeah. tickling me. Uh, anyway, <laughs> we do that for a lot of my recent films. He puts uh, a lot of shoe polish in that end. My ed. Truth documentary, which is still streaming. You can find it at my oh, okay. Stop, Stop plugging your shit. It's a cameo, Corey. Did all the sound it's one person. Right in the studio. <laughs> um, we also did the soundtrack. Uh, with the music that was in the film right here in the studio, as well as the music oh, for justifying my the studio. album. Uh, so we do all that stuff. But anyway, I have this very special video message for you, Danny How Tyrell. How easy to get an album made if he gets this many albums studio. made? Yeah. And, um, well, he's doing it in that sweet studio. Answer yeah. your questions because I mean, most of us for the documentary is what he was saying. Some questions for you. So uh, thank you uh, for that. And you said, I'm your gateway to the 80s because... Obviously, oh. I did have a lot of films out in the 80s. Uh, there's a lot of people. films out in every decade for the last... Uh, what about the last three? <clears throat> well, several decades, we'll say. Uh, but anyway, I know I... Where did his lips go? Younger than I... <laughs> yeah, so. wow. Um, but anyway, uh, I, I really weird. am young -er than you think. 22 <clears throat> is actually the number. But anyway... Um, huh? Okay, so I'm going to try <laughs> my best funny. to answer your questions. And speaking of the 80s, you know, like I don't really... I don't really reflect on that era much. You know, I always like to move on and go to the future. What? But right wait, we now, just saw you wearing an outfit from it, dancing in front of a crowd. He can't. He can plug his set, shit, but he can't respond to the actual request because he doesn't like to talk about the eighties. Album, which was called Love Left, which came out in nineteen ninety three. Nobody cares about your music. The music that I recorded no, for it. Just... I started recording music when I was starts talking well, very, very and there's young, no end. In I know. And <laughs> a lot of nothing but talks about himself. Nineteen eighty six to nineteen ninety one either ended up in movies as part of film uh -huh. soundtracks that uh -huh. I did like Dream a Little. Uh -huh. Dream, uh -huh. Listen, shut up for a second. <laughs> or. They didn't How come many out songs does he have so in his movie soundtracks? I don't remember. Well, well let's look it up. Well, I, like I was saying, it's mainly the doc, the right? In the 80s, which would be really exciting. But he said um, there were songs anyway, that, that were in so his movies. I enjoy that. Which film am I most proud of? Well, the film that I'm most proud of Lost isn't Boys. from the 80s. Oh, it's from his documentary. It's from the 2000s. Uh, My and truth? It's a film I did in Spain oh. with a brilliant Spanish director Spain? by the name of Eugenio Mera. No one's ever heard of it. 2005, and the film is called The Birthday. And you can find it on Amazon in Spain. You must get points. Uh, Amazon in Spain? We don't have time Spain? to questions, but I'll get to as many as I can. Uh, favorite so if I'm ever in Spain, I can watch it. Yep. <laughs> like them for different what? reasons. That's what you'll do uh, when you're in Spain. It's, of course, a fun adventure for the Rotten Tomatoes to for the birthday. Yeah. It was a lot of fun to make. And, uh, and some I found one song from his documentary that he that did. Uh, let's see, the birthday. Um, the birthday. Stand By Me, also great memories with those people. Great film, but uh, I think How I could he like the birthday more than Stand By Me? <laughs> <clears throat> okay, one more question. Um, He's lulling me. So sleep. what was it like? Working with River Phoenix, and uh, I would say it was amazing. River and I were very good friends. We had already been what friends do do prior Phoenix? to that, but I was um, by me. me. When oh, I found great out that he was be the one that was kids. in the movie. He was movie, really good I was in so that. excited because we already loved yeah, each other. He was. We had this, this kind of bond, uh, which you didn't get often with other kids in the business. A lot of the kids were very competitive and weird and, and river how and serious I a bond could he have with a 13 year old <laughs> kid well i mean there's no river phoenix alive to justify this and we would see each other um, at auditions that's true he can say anything and play. nobody can uh, right. argue with him so when i, I gotta tell you jada and tupac with yeah. me, we ended up is he almost done we <laughs> <laughs> got about 40 seconds <laughs> uh, what i was gonna say is i think he brought up the birthday to us when we talked to him yeah he might have because the description of the movie is a man attends a bizarre birthday party in a, in a fancy but sinister hotel and it kind of just rang a bell that i've heard of this now um uh, how's it doing rotten tomatoes so critics or audience you want to guess no, I have no idea. Yeah, critics is kind of a trick question because there are no reviews from critics because it's only available <laughs> in Spain on Amazon. <laughs> uh, Aren't there critics in Spain? <laughs> apparently not. They want to watch Corey Feldman. Uh, audience, you know, so the audience is seeking out a Feldman movie that they want to see because they like him. They only give it a 56. Stand By Me's got to do much better than that. I'm sure I'm Why sure is he it does. plugging that movie in Spain? That's ridiculous. 
Well, I had to remind Mark that he Feldman. was in the Burbs, too. Mark didn't remember him from that I movie. I don't remember him in that License to Drive is the oh, Corey Feldman movie. I love that movie. I don't, I don't remember that movie either. Is <laughs> that the God. one where he uses the super soaker as a, bl- a blowtorch? Mm, possibly. So it's also that he, great scene where that drunk guy's driving his car and ruining it. Yeah, he's yeah. driving his dad's car all night. Yeah, yeah, it's a great movie. Stand By Me, 92 from critics, 94 from the audience. But he'd rather talk about the birthday. The birthday. 